okay so the the answer is correct so i got all of them correct now hello everyone uh, once again it's time for uh, five math questions with mr ting where we go through the five uh, last five questions from um, the past year prelim papers and then we try to do that reason why we do the last five questions is because i think most of the time the last five questions will be the most difficult all right so uh, being able to go through them will be definitely beneficial for everybody so for today we'll be going through the acs paper okay so let's take a look and see what we have for here uh, so ramesh had a rectangle block he painted all the faces of the block by the way now these questions um i, I don't remember seeing them okay so um it will be uh something like the first time that i'm looking at them as well so sometimes i might have seen them but uh most of the time i forget okay so uh, i'm just doing them as per whatever i can remember so what is the total painted area we have uh so we got to find the net okay so for this question we got to find the net of the of the it was all the surface area he painted all of the faces of the block right all the faces painted so this side will be let's do the working okay so 9 times 7 it's 2 times 9 times 7 okay we got to use the calculator 2 times 9 times 7 106 cm square so this this side and the other yeah, the other side. Now look at the top and bottom. So 2 times 4 times 9. 72. And uh, this one. So 7 times 4. 2 times 7 times 4. It's 56. Okay, so the total for part A total painted area equals to 126 plus 72 plus 56 254 okay so that's 254 cm square so rubbish cut the block into 1 cm cubes how many of these have only one of their faces painted why you do that rubbish Okay, cut the block into 1 cm cubes. So how many of these have only one? So uh, which are the ones that have only one? How it looks like, how it's going to look like is this. Let's say, okay, let's say this is the 4 cm. This is 4 and this is 7 centimeters. Uh, so there will be a 1 centimeter width where they are not painted that leaves us with 2 cm here okay likewise um, for this side for this side uh, we are looking at 7 minus 2 so that's 5 okay so that's the consideration that is for this side so using the same idea you can look at all the different sides so for example, uh, what we do is just minus 2. Let's take away 2 for all of them. And this is 7. This will be 2 and this will be 5. Okay. So for example, this one. So how many... How, uh, let, let's look at this one. So how many of them uh, only have one side painted? That's 2 times 5. That's 10. Okay. So this side is going to give me 10. And the top... Uh, so two. Let, let, let's just do 2 times 10. So I got 2 times 10 because on both sides. Then the top and bottom would be 7 times 2. It's 14. So 2 times of 14. That's the top and the bottom. So this one is settled. And this side would be uh, 7 times 5. 7 times 5 is 30, 35. Okay, so 2 times 35. So we're looking at a total of what is cm squared. So we're looking at a total of uh, just just add them together. All right, so it's 20 plus 28 plus 70. For part B, 118. 
Okay. Okay, for this particular question, I'm still a little skeptical. I'm not too sure if this is the way I will think about it, but I'm going to leave more time because I've already taken five minutes. Okay, so you, you see, I, I have a time management, right? I'm very aware of the time that I'm using for the question. Next one. So I know that if I have extra time, I will come back and take a look. Okay, because I'm like, you know, semi uh, confident that I've gotten it correct. Okay, next. So this one, Jerry, Ken and Leon shared some stamp. Jerry took 408, Ken took one quarter of the remainder. So we got the J, K, L. J is 408, uh, Ken took one quarter of the remainder. Leon had 24% of the total number. Now, if Ken had one quarter of the remainder, that means this is like a, a one unit here and then this is like three units here because the remainder is 4 units, right? And Ken had 1 quarter. Leon had 34% of the total number of stamps. So this 3 units is equivalent to 24%. 1 unit will be equivalent to 8%. Okay? So uh, if this is 8 and this is 24, this percentage will be 32 minus 100. 68%. Right, so 408 represents 68%. Uh, still working. I can find 1%. 408 divided 68, 6%. It's the total number 600. Okay, fairly confident. Move on. Next. So, a group of girls sold an average of 60 balloons at a carnival. 60 balloons. Then two boys joined the group. Two boys sold a total of 165. After the two boys joined, the average number sold by all the boys and girls became 65. How many girls were there in the group? Okay, so this is uh, average, right? So at first, for average, I like to use TAN. 10. Total average, which stands for total average and number of people. So at first the girl sold an average of 60. So average was 60. Then two boys joined the group. So I do not know the number. I also do not know what's the total. Now two boys joined the group. Uh, the two boys sold an, a total of 165. After the two boys joined the average. Okay, so let's say now two boys joined. So we have a bigger group. Now the total becomes T plus 165. The average number of balloons sold by all the boys and girls became 65. So A became 65. This is the new average. And the uh, number of people, uh, we got a plus 2. Okay? So how many girls were there in the group? So how do we do a question like that? Now, over here, let's look at this, this triangle. The, the, the triangle on the left. Uh, total is equals to 60n. So you see t is 60n because you take 60 times the number of people you get 60n. So what I like to do is uh, I like to replace the t on the right hand side. This change to 60n. Okay, so it's 60n here. So uh, for here, if I take 65 times n plus 2, I should get the total which is 60 n plus 165. Now I know this is algebra. Okay, so for a lot of people, if we uh, are this terrible and difficult to do, um, it is very, very difficult to do it intuitively. Okay, so I think using algebra is one of the fastest and the easiest way. Okay, so what we do is we take, we multiply that, right? So 65 n plus 2 times of 65 130 equals to 60 n plus 165 okay so I have a difference of 5 n is equal to 35 so n is equal to 7 okay so the question is how many girls were there in the group the answer is 7 so what is the method I'm using I'm using the 
Tan, T-A-N, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Tan. If you have read my book, uh, the e-book, I refer to this type of average questions as Mr. and Mrs. Tan. You know, it looks like this. T-A-N. So sometimes 10 is not enough, you gotta get a bigger one. Okay? Go and take a look at my book, right? You see how I explain that. Next one, bigger. Uh, in the figure below, not drawn to scale, ABCD is a parallelogram G E D G H. Find K C F. K C F. K C F is here. Okay, so let's try. Huh? D A E hundred and ten. ABCD is a parallelogram. A B C D. Okay, so if it's parallelogram, I can. Infer this are in ten. This is seventy. Uh, there is seventy as well. The opposite. So KCF is actually pretty simple. Angle KCF equals to one hundred eighty minus one hundred ten. So this is seventy degrees. Okay. That's part one. Part B. Find the AEG. So AEG is right here. Slightly more difficult, but AEG is actually the same as this. So, okay, so KCF is 70, uh, angle CKF equals to 80 degrees. So, this is also 80 degrees, and uh, to find angle AEG. A E A E oh sorry so A E G A E G is the one outside not this A E G A E G um okay I want to find angle angle G D K sorry A D Take away 80, take away 60, it's 40 degrees. So here is also 40 degrees. Okay, so if that's 40 degrees, um, angle A E G will be, uh, we just take 180, take away 40, 140 degrees. Alright, so that's that's pretty easy. Right, hopefully I get it correct next and that's the last one okay so far we have taken 12 minutes uh, not too bad the last five questions haven't seen much heuristics okay, except for the average question so last one find the total area of the shaded parts four semicircles and a rectangle ABCD four semicircle oh okay so uh, there's one big circle inside AC is 15 so uh, there's one big circle inside. I have to one two. Okay, the strategy is to take the area of the whole thing and minus the white color circle. So let's find the small semicircle. This is the small semicircle. So area of small semi circle pi now what's the radius? it's 4 and a half pi r square ok so uh, this is the area of a circle now 2 of them forms a circle so I don't have to divide by 2 Uh, okay, so 63.585. So, area of big semi circle. So, big semi circle, referring to this one. Uh, so, the big one, the radius is 6. So, it's 3.14 times 6. 6.
113.04 okay so the area of the whole thing so total area it's the rectangle that is 9 times 12 plus plus 113.04 284.625 okay so that's the area of the whole thing I want to minus the uh, white color circle okay so let's remove the white color circle so area of white circle uh, okay so the this is the, the diameter half of 15 is 7.5 times 7.5 176.625 Okay, so finally area of shaded part equals to 284.625 minus 176.625 284.625 one zero eight cm square okay so that's all for this uh, five last five questions from acs okay we're gonna take a look and see if i have gotten them correct okay now it's time to check the answers we're gonna take a look and see if uh, i've gotten them correct so uh, we're gonna start from the last this is the last one Okay, we're gonna find the first one. That is question thirteen. So question number thirteen, two five four. That's correct. I remember I said that I'm not too sure about the second one, right? It's forty one. Second one is one one eight. Yep. Luckily, I'm correct. Okay, next. So we look at the next one, question number 14, uh, 600 stamps, that's correct, it's pretty easy, it's not too bad. Next one, question 15, ah, I use algebra here, 7, yep, 7 is correct, okay, next, uh, question 16, so question 16's answer is 140, yep, and uh, 70. So far so good. Next. Final question. So final question answer is 108 cm square. Okay, so the, the answer is correct. So I got all of them correct. Now if you like to find out how I'm able to do all of this, uh, I actually uh, first of all have a lot of practice, that's for sure. Secondly, I have a lot of um, uh, heuristics that's in my mind. So if you'd like to find out what are the heuristics that I've been using all this while, you can go and download our PDF. Uh, it's a two-page PDF with all the possible heuristics that's uh, written inside the two pieces of paper you can even click on the links you know you click on them and then you can go and take a look at the uh, videos they will link you directly to the YouTube videos that we have and you can watch uh, exactly how we saw or uh, you know even explain what each of the heuristics is about okay so once again this is Mr. Ting signing off we are now doing five questions okay the last five questions from all the school prelim papers okay thank you very much and all the best for your revision